Johannes and thanks for joining us here today. I'm really excited about learning more at Tomra Insight as a reporting and decision making tool and I hope that's something that we can look at together today. Let's continue with the second category, material distribution. Material distribution is important because it has direct influence on the sorting performance and quality. If there's too much material on the belt and it's overlapping, the sensors cannot see it and we're potentially shooting at the wrong material or we're shooting material that's underlaying another with it. So here we have three statistics. First of all, the material distribution. It is aggregated view over the last seven days, since we selected last seven days. And it shows here the different materials that are classified and how they are distributed across the belt. We have these peaks here, but these are just because of the specific machine setup. In the best case, you have an even distribution across the whole belt. This directly translates into the ejector activity, in this case the valve cycle distribution. And here you also see why it can be important. In this case, you have a lot more valve activity. With more valve activities, the lifetime of the valve decreases, and then the valve breaks within this area where it's most important to be shooting. So you're probably sh losing material or shooting, not shooting out the right material. From the aggregated view, we break it down into a trend. So how does the material distribution change over the selected time period? And here you see that the material, the material distribution across the belt over the timeline. So over these previously selected seven days. And you have a nice view here that in this area here, you see less material than in this, which you can see that the colors here are darker and the colors here are lighter. This is probably due to different material going through. So in this case, they can process more material because it's cleaner or spread out evener than in this case. So to sum it up, you need to monitor this information to ensure that the quality of the sorting can be achieved and not that an overlapping of material leads to bad sorting. So let's continue with the last category, the sorting statistics. What decision does the machine take based on the data that the sensors provide? So we start with the easiest statistic here, the general sorting fractions. How much of the detected material is dropped and how much is ejected? And we continue with the eject, in this case the more important part, the good material is ejected. So we see that overall 65% of the infill is ejected. But then how does this change over time? Just because we say that 65%, it doesn't mean that we have the 65% continuously. And you see that there's a bit of fluctuation between 60 and 70%, but this is already normal. Going from the relative numbers down to the absolute numbers, we look at the throughput. And to simplify this again, I will deselect a few materials. Now we just look at the eject. And we also have one line that shows you a limit, a threshold. We expect that the eject is at around 1,100 square meters per hour, and you see that it's fluctuating around there. So overall, these statistics give you a nice overview of trends in the sorting decision. It shows you if the quality is what we expect, if the material is similar to, if the material fits the specifications, and just overall, all statistics combined give you a nice transparency of the materials going through the machines and also the functioning of the machine. Interesting. So all anyone needs to do to access this information is to log into their Tomra Insight account and pull up the statistics? You don't just get pre-configured reports. These are fully configurable to your individual needs. And you can do it all by yourself. You can select different times. You can select shifts or the last month, any time that you like. You can add statistics all the statistics that I showed you today, but there are even more statistics. Some machine specific, but also some overall. And then you can export the data to PDF to share with your colleagues or to Excel to further work with it. And to make it even easier, you can schedule these reports. You can define that you want to receive this report by email every shift, day, week, or any time that you want for a specific machine or even a complete plant. And you simply schedule this report to send it to you via email or to possibly some of your colleagues 
that you want to provide specific data sets to your quality department, but other data set to your business department. And you can simply set this up. So to sum it up, I'm 100% convinced that Toma Insight and the transparency it provides to our customers enables our customers to better understand their machine and their process. And together with us, we can achieve the full potential of the machines to reduce waste, to reduce waste in the food industry, the recycling industry, as well as the mining industry. And that's why I believe that Toma Insight and the digital transformation behind it is key to a future with less waste. Thank you so much, Johannes. I'm sure this will inspire viewers to make the most out of their possibilities with Tomra Insight. Did this video get you interested in finding out more about Tomra Insight and its possibilities? Then please visit tomra.com insight for more details or to book a personal demo session. Mm -hmm.